I was gonna pick this one just because it looks like a party, like the box, and it just looks like a good time. That's a lot to pay for a stinking blush. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a really fun video for you today. I've got the blush tag for you guys. I was tagged by Heather from Ebby Loves Makeup. She has a great channel. I will link her down below. She has a really great Instagram too. So she did this tag and she tagged me on it. So I'm going to just run through the different questions, give you my answers, and we're just gonna talk about some blush. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first question is best packaging. So I thought through this for a while, pulled out some of my blushes and kind of compared the different packaging, but I'm gonna have to go with the Clinique Cheek Pops because I think that they are just so cute, the design of the actual blush, that they look like a little flower, but also I think it's just really nice and sleek and I love the like, I don't know, thick, clear plastic and it feels really sturdy but it's also compact and cute so I'm gonna go with the cheek pops from Clinique I love them next is prettiest color and I'm gonna have to go with max just a wisp I meant to wear this today and I completely forgot till just now so I just added a little bit of that over the top of what I was already wearing but just a wisp is just the most glowy angelic fairy like looking color I mean, look at that. That is a really pretty color blush. It's just glowy, it's light, it's pink. I love it. It's really kind of like a blush highlight situation, but it just makes you look like an angel. I mean, it's so pretty and angelic. I don't know what other word to use for it, but it's just gorgeous. Number three is most pigmented. I have to go with Tarte's blush. I was looking through my different blushes and this one is really like no joke. And I really don't reach for this blush very much because, because whoa, whoa. I mean that's pigmented. It's really nice. It's really beautiful and it packs a punch. It's a bright color anyway, but it just has a lot of pigment to it. So I have to be really careful when I do wear this blush. But isn't that a beautiful color? It's really gorgeous. Number four is everyday blush. And I picked Chanel's Jersey because this is just a go with everything blush color. I mean, it is just like a neutral, nude sort of a blush. But I mean, it just blends into the skin. It just, it goes with everything. It's just amazing. It doesn't even look all that impressive in a swatch, but on your cheeks and with a whole complete eye look, it just completes everything without distracting from whatever you've got going on with the rest of your makeup. It's beautiful and I love the formula. Number five is Party Blush. I was gonna pick Benefit's Bella Bomba, but I don't know that this is around anymore other than maybe in sets or something. I was gonna pick this one just because it looks like a party, like the box, and it just looks like a good time, you know what I mean? And it's a really pretty, just kind of like fun blush color. It's pink and it has a little bit of like a glow to it. So I feel like that's a party blush, but also Too Faced um, Sweetheart's Perfect Flush Blush in Something About Berry. This one is too, just because it looks like, I don't know, a princess birthday party or something. And it's also like pink and glowy and girly. It just looks like a fun time. You know what I mean? Like if you're, I think of those days when it's like a special occasion and I get out like fun makeup that just feels fun to look at and to use. I think that this is one of them, but this is really my number one pick because it looks like party. Six is regret purchasing. I was thinking through and I really don't have a lot of blushes that I regret purchasing, but if I were to pick one, I would maybe say ColourPop's Pegacorn, only because it's such a bright color, I really don't reach for it very often. But also, you know, these are more kind of like a creamy sort of a formula, so this is probably gonna go bad more quickly. So I would say probably a re regret purchasing is buying so many of the kind of like bright ColourPop blushes just because I don't reach for them very much and I'm thinking they'll go bad, you know, before I'll ever get 
a ton of use out of them. Number seven is least used. And I'm gonna go with my Maybelline Master Glaze by Face Studio Blush Sticks. I really do like these. I think that they're awesome. I think they're really pigmented and nice and really good blush sticks, but I just never reach for them. I don't use cream blushes a ton anyway, and just like blush sticks, I just don't think to grab them and use them. So, I mean, really beautiful. They're great quality, but I just forget about them. Number eight is most used would never let go of, and I have to go with Benefits Rockateur. I love this blush. I will never get rid of this blush. I recommend this to so many people. This is a go-to for me at Sephora when people are looking for just an everyday blush color. Kind of the same idea as Chanel's Jersey that it's a great neutral blush color. It has a little bit of warmth to it, has a little bit of a glow. So it just, it makes you look healthy and it pairs so beautifully with any makeup look. And I mean, the formula of it is awesome, blends beautifully into the skin, but you can see it just gives that little bit of like a glow. <sighs> I love it. It has a yummy, nice smell to it too. It's just good. Love this. Number nine is favorite blush brand. And I was thinking through all my different blushes that I have and if I had to just stick with one blush brand, I would say MAC. So I picked MAC because they have a lot of different options. They have the mineralized blushes, which are beautiful. Just a Wisp is one of the mineralized blushes. Um, New Romance is a gorgeous kind of like peachy sort of a color. Um, but then they have like a lot of really great satin and matte colors. I just feel like they have a ton of options. So that's why I picked MAC. You have tons of options, but also they're really great quality. They're nice to use on the skin. They blend nicely. They wear really well throughout the day. They're just great quality and you have a ton of options. Number 10 is greatest blush discovery of the year. I'm gonna have to go with Wet n Wild's Rose Champagne. I remember when I first bought this, I wasn't sure about it because I was like, I don't know if this is gonna be anything. I don't know if it's gonna show up, if it's worth getting, but I absolutely love this stinking blush. It is such a great everyday wearable color. It doesn't look impressive in a swatch, <laughs> but it's just gorgeous. I mean, it just is one of those go with everything kind of blush colors and it has like a little bit of a sheen to it. It's one that doesn't look good in a swatch, but when you get it on your skin, it's beautiful. And I know so many people that love this blush color too. I think a lot of people well, I don't know. I feel like a few at least are like me, where we're kind of a little bit shocked that we like it as much as we do, because it doesn't look all that impressive or exciting in the pan, but it's really good. I love this. Number 11 is most practical, and I grabbed Max Warm Soul because I feel like this blush works for most people. That it just is, again, that everyday, gorgeous, go with everything, sort of a blush color, but it just is a no-brainer. I don't know. This one has a little bit more like bronzy tones to it. So it gives more like warmth on the skin. Oh, I don't know. It, and even like looking at it, that looks like it would not work for me, but it definitely does. It's just one of those no-brainer blushes. And because it's a little bit deeper, and a little bit warmer. I think that's why it works for more skin tones and more people. Um, so yeah, it's just very practical. It just works, goes with everything. It's a great blush. Next is least practical, and I pick the Benefit Tints. I just have Lolly Tint, and it's not that I don't like this. I think it's really nice. I think it's beautiful, but it's just not something I really ever reach for because it just feels difficult to use. Like, you have to work quickly, it's a stain. I feel like it, like it just did. I feel like it sets so quickly and just, every time I try to use them, or this one, this is the only one I own, when I try to use this one, I get annoyed. If I can get it to work, it looks pretty, but it just isn't very practical. I don't reach for it a lot because it's kind of like, 
I have to get the application technique just right for it to work. 13 is most expensive. That would be my Chanel blushes. These are really up there in price. I believe that they're like $45 a piece. That's a lot to pay for a stinking blush, but I love them. They're so nice. They're in their little fancy felt pouches. They're great quality. I love these blushes. This one is in Rose Bronze, another one of my favorites. They just feel fancy. They are fancy, they're really nice, but they have a fancy price tag. Lastly is least expensive. And I grabbed both of these because I wasn't sure the exact prices on them. The Wet n Wild Color Icon blushes, I think they're either $2.99 or $3.99. And the Jordana blushes are either $2.50 or $3.00. So they're all really affordable. And what's funny is I love these blushes. I think that they're amazing. So while I love my Chanel blushes and they feel so fancy and amazing, I really love these two, and I would be perfectly happy just having these in my collection because they're great quality and just crazy affordable. All right, guys, so that wraps up the blush tag. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what some of your picks would be for these answers. What are some of your favorite blushes in your collection? I'm gonna tag some friends down below, but you are tagged as well if you make videos. I would love it if you did this tag. It's a really fun one. Thank you so much, Heather, for tagging me. And yeah, if you guys have any questions for me, just ask those down below. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video.